Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we would pull out the festive Christmas red lip. I mentioned in my last video that I really wanted to play with the new Shantikai red lip color. They came out with their new holiday collection. So that's what we're doing today. I kept the rest of the makeup very minimal, but I still add a little bit of sparkle in the eyes just because I think it's always fun to play with some glitter and some sparkle around the holiday time. Um, but really, I love a good just fresh skin look with a bold lip. I just think it looks so beautiful, so chic, so sophisticated, and it's easy because you're not having to do a full-on smoky eye or eye look. You can really just focus all your attention on the lip. And I zhuzhed up the little bit and did kind of a blurred lip, which I think is just so beautiful, and I don't know why I don't do it more. It's so gorgeous. I learned this technique from Katie Jane Hughes. And I just think it has the most beautiful effect. It takes your red lip and just elevates it and makes it even more beautiful and impactful. I've got my Ana Luisa hoops in and then I also have my new Lily Clasp uh, Reggie necklaces. So I have the Reggie Thick and then I have the original Reggie. And these are these gorgeous gold plated herringbone necklaces. They're so dainty and they're really fun to layer. I just think they amp up your look and uh, they're just so, so nice, very lightweight and easy to wear. So before we get into the video, make sure you grab something to drink. I'm sipping on some hot coffee and let's go ahead and get into it. Right, so for my base, I wanted to try something a little different. Um, never tried this combination before, so we'll kind of see how this goes. But I want to pull out my Danessa Myricks. Um, this is her Vision Cream Cover Foundation. This is the smaller version. It comes in a pump, and then you can get it in this kind of pen type applicator. So I really want to try this today because I do want a more full coverage base. But this is so thick and I find that it can be very heavy. So last time I used this, I mentioned I wanted to use it with an oil and I think I'm gonna use it today with my Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. And if you are interested in trying this foundation, it's really nice. I would recommend getting the pump. It is more expensive because you're getting more product, but I do not like this pen applicator. I need to figure out a way to um, take this brush tip off because it takes forever to come out and then when it finally starts going, it just pours out. So I'm not a huge fan of that, but the foundation itself is really nice. So I've applied this to the areas where I want a little bit, uh, where I kind of have some spots and discoloration and just where I want the majority of the coverage. I'm now gonna go in with my Ilia Skin Tint and I'm using the shade ST8. If I have a little bit left in here, I don't know. Hopefully I'll be able to squeeze some out. I'm gonna take this in the palm of my hand. I'm gonna use a brush. I may have to switch to a sponge, but I'm gonna dip my brush into the skin tint and really prime the brush with that. And then go in and blend this out. And I think that'll make this foundation easier to work with because it is quite thick and heavy and it's hard to blend out and I find that it just looks really heavy on the skin. I'm also gonna take this on the under eye cause I'm gonna use this as my concealer as well. All right, so I already love the Danessa Myricks foundation a million times better with something that's a little bit lighter, a little bit more, has a little bit more slip to it. This looks so much better and a little bit less heavy and makeup-y. And I don't even have to use concealer because this foundation, I think it doubles as a concealer and a foundation. It has so much coverage, it's basically a concealer. So yeah, I think mixing it in with something is the best way to go. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of cream bronzer and I'm gonna use one of my favorites. This is the Tower 28 Bronzino and I use the shade West Coast. So I'm gonna take my foundation brush. And when I do red lips, I 
really, I mean, I already love a bronzy complexion, but I feel like when I do a red lip, that's when I really like to bronze up the skin. So I'm going to use this as my first bronzer. Y'all know I like to layer my cream and powder bronzers. So I'm just going to use this to warm up the skin. All right. Just a little bit of warmth. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my face. So I'm going to use milk makeup. And I'm going to try something a little different today. I'm actually going to use my sponge to apply this. Because if I were actually doing this for an event or a party, I find setting the under eye with a damp sponge helps to lock it in. And I feel like it wears better, lasts longer. So I'm not baking. I'm just pressing the powder in the under eye area with my sponge. I'm going to take this through the T-zone. Alright, so while we're here, why not? Let's take, I'm going to take the same sponge, same powder. I'm going to load up my sponge and... I'm going to use this to kind of clean up my cream bronzer just a tiny bit. I mean, you can barely see it. All right, and then I'm going to take my large powder brush with a little bit of powder and just kind of blend that out. See, it just kind of cleans it up a bit. Nothing too crazy. All right, so moving on to the rest of the complexion, I am going to do some highlighter, of course, with holiday, Christmas, New Year's looks. I think it's always fun to play with a little bit more sparkle. So I'm going to use my Aether Supernova, Supernova Crush Diamond Highlighter in Pure Diamond Dust. I think this one is nice for a special occasion because it is a lot more intense and... It's just a little bit more fun. It's not so much on the natural side, which is typically what I reach for. This one has a little bit more glitter, a little bit more sparkle. And I think this one's just kind of fun to play with when you want to amp up the look a bit. Do something a little bit more elevated and dramatic. All right, and then for a bit more bronzer, I'm going to take my Well People Bio Base Baked Bronzer. This is the pressed version. And I'm just going to take that mainly on the backs of my cheeks and I'm keeping it right above kind of that line that I created just to keep the face nice and structured. And I find using a kind of more angled brush like this one helps. This is an MOTD Get Cheeky With It brush. This kind of helps keep that nice st structured look and it's easier to be more precise. And then I'm going to pinch my brush and take this down the sides of my nose. Take some along my jaw, down my neck. All right, and then for blush, I haven't used this one in a long time. Uh, this is the Zuzu Lux Sunset Blush. And I just thought this tone was really pretty. It has a little bit more warmth to it. I'm just going to take it right there on the apples and just kind of blend it backwards. Alright, I'm just going to take my powder brush and just kind of go over top everything. Make sure it's nice and blended. So, I'm going to do my brows. I think I'm going to do some soap brows today. Just feeling in the mood. So I'm gonna take my bar of glycerin soap. If you want to know how I do soap brows, um, I actually did a little mini tutorial a few videos back. I will link it up here. Um, but I showed y'all how I kind of do my soap brows. Okay, so for the eyes, my 
the idea that I have for this look is I want something a little bit sparkly, but I, I want it to be very understated, very muted. So that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. I have a few different products that I was just going to recommend in case you don't have what I use today. I think I'm going to use this Becca, Becca Light Gleam Primer and Topper just because I never use this. Um, but some other options in case you don't have this or you don't use Becca. Um, okay, so as the base, so I want to do something just matte all over the eyes. It's very, very close to my skin tone. So uh, I love these Bare Minerals Gen Nude Eyeshadow and Primers. They come in a bunch of different colors. So depending on your skin tone, you can kind of find one that's um, close to your skin tone. And these, um, they designed these to be like skin tone kind of colors. Like kind of cool tone brown. So I love this. They dry down completely matte and then you can add a little sparkle on top. So that's one option for a matte shadow. Um, also these Ilia Liquid Powder Chromatic Eye Tints. This shade Fresco is my favorite. And this one does have a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's kind of in the same color family. So you can kind of see they're very, very similar. The Ilia one does have a sheen to it. So this is kind of the color family that I'm working with. Obviously, depending on your skin tone, if you want something to contrast your skin tone more, you want something deeper than your skin tone, you want something very similar, you can kind of pick and choose what shade you want. But just for my skin tone, this is kind of the color that I'm going for. And then the Becca one, which I think is what I'm going to use today. This is in the shade Golden Hour, the matte side. It's a little bit more warm than the other two, but again, just very, very similar. And then the other side is sparkly. So I definitely want some shimmer glitter on the lids. So the great thing about the Becca one is that you get a two in one. So this is what the shimmer looks like in the Becca one. So there's the shimmer. So you're supposed to use them together. And then some other options I have, um, these Pixie, what are these called? Fairy lights, I think is what they're called. Um, they, they look like this. This shade, Bare Brilliance, is really pretty. It is a bit deeper. They have other shades, um, but this one would be a really pretty option to apply on top of a matte brown or matte whatever. See, it's got some nice glitter to it. So again, very similar to the Becca one. And then one of my all-time favorites is this Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coat. And I love this one because anyone can use this. It really just takes on the color that you apply underneath. There's not a lot of base pigment. It's mainly just like glitter. If you can kind of see that. So this is definitely the most sheer out of all the ones that I'm swatching. So that's the Natasha Denona one. So it just gives a really pretty glossy effect. Um, so I'm gonna take the Becca, again, this is the Light Gleam Primer and Topper. This is in the shade Golden Hour. I'm gonna take the matte side. I'm gonna use the tiniest bit of this because I don't want a lot of color on the lids. And I'm just gonna take my brush, just kind of Blend this all over. You could use your bronzer even. I mean, there's a million different ways you can do this look. So if you didn't want to do any kind of sparkle, you could just leave your eyes like this and throw on some mascara. I want a little bit of sparkle, especially just it being Christmas. I just, I don't know, glitter is just calling my name. So I'm gonna take the other side and this comes with a little paint brush type of applicator. So I'm just gonna paint it on the lid and just spread it around and it just adds a nice little wash of sparkle on the lid oh that is so pretty and just very simple but just has a little hint of something fun so i'm also going to take the matte side and i'm going to run that along my lower lash line i forgot to do that and then just take my brush Mudge it out and then I'm gonna add a little bit of nude liner. This is the Mario Master Matte Brightening Pencil in Light 1. I'm just gonna add that to my waterline. So today I'm doing lashes. So I'm just gonna really lightly curl my lashes. I don't want to curl them too too much because then it's kind of hard to put lashes on. I think I'm just gonna do my Well People Expressionist Mascara. All right I'm gonna let that dry 
and then we will go in with lashes. Uh, today I'm going to be using these Silly George lashes and the style is called Girl Friday. I haven't used these yet. Um, but I did use his other ones in the style Girl Next Door and I really liked those. I actually changed my mind. I'm going to use a different style because I felt like the other ones, which were called Girl Friday, they were too natural. I wanted something a little bit elevated. So I'm actually going to use Girl Overboard, which is a uh, definitely a more voluminous style. So this is what the lashes look like. And I went ahead and cut the outer edge to fit my lashes. All right, so lashes are about as good as they're gonna get. There is a reason why I don't do lashes. This just takes so much time. And I think this, this lash glue, I just don't like this lash glue. So this was actually quite difficult, but these lashes are gorgeous. All right, I'm sorry for the little sun thing we've got going on here. I can't do anything about it. All right, so this is from the new Shantikai Holiday 2020 Holiday Collection. I did an entire video in my previous video. Um, so if you wanna see other products in the collection, definitely check that out. But they did come out with a matte red lip and that's what we're gonna be using today. These, This is such a gorgeous formula. I'm pretty sure this whole product is new. I don't, I don't think it's just the colors. I think these are actually new lip products. Um, but this is in the shade Lob... Uh, Lobelia, Lobelia, I don't know how to say that, um, but it's just this gorgeous red shade, a little, a little bit more on the warm side. It's not like a true blue red. It definitely favors a warmer undertone. All right, so that is the red lip. The formula is really nice, very, very creamy, but dries down matte, but super comfortable to wear. Um, it does move around on the lips quite a bit, so just with eating and drinking, I would just be careful, but really nice, comfortable formula. So I wanna zhuzh this up a bit and add something a little bit more fun. So I'm actually gonna take this lip blur brush from Real Techniques, and I'm gonna soften up the edges of my lip line and do kind of a blurred red lip. I just think that'd be really, really pretty, kind of different. Um, so I feel like my look, like while it's pretty, it's just a little boring for me. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a softer blurred lip. All right, so finished my lip and I took the lashes off. I didn't like them. I felt like they were hiding my the glitter on my eyes and I just felt like it was taking away from the look like it was just too much it was just a step too far I don't know me and lashes this is why I don't do false lashes I thought I would try something different especially for those of you who like to wear false lashes I thought I would just kind of do something different but I it looks a million times better without the lashes so I just went ahead and applied a little bit more mascara and I just think this looks so much better. I don't know. I just, I think I just need to quit the lashes just all together. It just wasn't working. All right, guys. So that completes this fun Christmassy red lip look. I hope you enjoyed. So let me know in the comments down below what your plans for Christmas are. What, if you're going to be wearing makeup, if you're not going to be wearing makeup, I'm most likely just going to be wearing some sweats, um, just keeping it real chill. But let me know in the comments what you're doing and what you plan on doing with your style. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.